two really good teams um, go about like uh, those games should. Um, thought there was some very interesting opportunities tonight before the game going in because they can play really big and they can play really small. We can do the same thing, and and so I thought there was a little chess match within the within the game itself. Um, with that, um, I obviously love our defense the last 10, 12 minutes of the game. Um, it's very rare. I think it's, they told me it's been 15 years since we have held the team without a three. Uh, it was a very big stat for us coming into the game. Michigan State was 11 and one. If they make more than five threes, they were one and three under five. Uh, staying home with their shooters was, was, was something we spent a lot of time talking about. Um, and then the other glaring statistic uh, that, other than us getting pounded on the glass, was they had four assists. They averaged 16. And we were good with them shooting mid-range twos all night. And uh, uh, so it was, uh, you know, I, I'm really proud of Matthew. Uh, he's got himself in a shape where he can play 29 minutes. Uh, he played extremely intelligent because I had to play him uh, in the first half with two. Um, and it's not very often that you get a perimeter player with six blocks. Uh, so it wasn't just his, uh, his offensive numbers. He had six blocks tonight. So um, Dane, I thought, was terrific. Um, he had a few, few mishaps in the first half in ball screen coverage and our drops but uh, that he usually doesn't make. But... Um, uh, and then we really challenged him at halftime because he didn't have a defensive rebound. Uh, we've we've all in most everybody in this room has seen Dane be a dominant rebounder. We need we need that from him. But uh, um, but again, I thought uh, Coleman was tremendous on the defensive side. Uh, four offensive rebounds, eight total. Um, you know he's he's playing a ton of minutes. But uh, uh, we beat a really good basketball team tonight and, and it, I think it's uh, the other last thing I'll mention is our five turnovers um, that helps when you get a shot at the rim uh, and not turn it over and, and uh, a, a big piece of tonight's game. Questions? Brad, in the first half they get 18 shots at the rim and the second half they get seven. What was the adjustment you made at halftime? To tell, tell, Dane to, tell Dane to stay in front of the ball. He left too often. Um, in our drops, you know, you, the whole one of the whole keys is just keep your, your chest square. And um, you know, he, he got worried because we did talk about you know Maddie lobs at the rim, and he was you know okay, throw it, go. I right? we're not we're not worried about a whole bunch of those, but uh, they just kept driving it. I thought our guards got clipped a little too much, uh, but. Um, you know, we did a much better job in, in the second half of kind of leveling them off. Yeah. Coach, Michigan State's usually a pretty tough team in a possession game down the stretch. Uh, talk, can you talk about your execution, like the last four and a half, five minutes, and <coughs> is that kind of a turning point uh, for your team? Was tonight. Throw the ball to Matt. Um, uh, we ran, we literally ran one play probably 12 times. Um, and we ran two different variations off of it. Uh, and then they made a little change, and then we just ran Matt to a post up. We liked Matt with 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 Aikens on him uh, with that matchup, and and he was in, into a post up. So uh, our execution, I thought, was very good. And then we got a couple offensive rebounds that were were huge. We found Dane uh, in a couple of deep post ups uh, when the when those options broke down. So I thought it was very very good. And then I thought our defense was was really solid tonight. Right here, right. The last seven or so minutes when Lee Hall went to the bench, they, they played quite a bit without him, but he affects them a little bit. I'm wondering from scouting them what he does for them in your eyes when you, when you watch Lee Hall. Yeah, he's a post-up threat. That I always go back to the game here last year. The game on the line, they, they, they ran a post-up play f to get him the ball in a post-up. And uh, you know, we talked about you know, his post-ups. We, we worked really hard on his tendencies. Uh, in that post up, I thought Coleman was um, really good. I thought you know he's just standing there and put his hands up. You know Coleman six ten and 
and using his length to bother him and, and, and not letting him get to, get to the shoulder he likes. And we were good if he wanted to shoot a fadeaway. Uh, so, you know, they miss that post-up threat, um, you know, with him, and, and he gives them a, a legit low post score that uh, when he was out was, was they didn't have. Karen? Brad, I remember a few years ago when you played him, you really praised what Scott Drew had built at, at Baylor. You had two players tonight from Baylor who were fantastic. What, what about their experience do you think has translated over into your program and how it's impacted it? I don't know if I've asked him that. It's probably a better question for them. Um, obviously, they were both a part of winning at a really high level. I mean, Matt was a key player on the national championship team. And, and um, um, you know, they, their team, is, as we faced them a few years ago in the COVID year, we all know how good defensively they were. And you look at Matt's numbers in the analytics, I mean, his block rate is really high, his steal rate's really high, he's a great anticipator. Um, so you know he had concepts. And, um, you know, even though Dane wasn't a participant with the broken, broken foot, you know, he was absorbing that. So, um, you know, recruiting players from from a, from a winning program and one that's won as many as, as Scott has in Baylor uh, is, is uh, you know, something we like to do. Tyler? Yeah, Brett. Um, Coach Isham was really complimentary of Dane, saying that uh, he kicked their butt. But he also kind of said it's the first time that they've done that in a conference game. So moving forward, how do you find ways to, you know, the film's out on that kind of stuff, how do you find ways to kind of keep Dane um, active in the offense like he was tonight? Well, if you, if you pay attention, like Nebraska's, Nebraska doubles the post before he even gets the ball. I mean, I think, you know, we were watching the first half tonight, and I think Zach had three baskets, and they were all in offensive rebounds. Uh, they take that away from you. So it wasn't a huge part of the game plan in terms of actually throwing in the ball against Nebraska. Um, but, yeah, we've, we're starting to build an identity on the offensive end, and that was – and he's a, he's a part of it. We felt like that – and we had two Jekyll and Hyde games last year with, with these guys. You know, the first game we didn't have Kofi, we ball screened all night. You know, we went there to their place, we threw Kofi at 25, and, you know, Jacob had 100 um, because of the way they covered him. So, um, you know, it, it was, it was um, trying, to, trying to get him going. We know he can really, really score, so it's just what the defense allowed uh, from game to game. Matt, can I talk about Dow? You had a few a couple weeks ago and how you guys have both kind of changed and adapted with the team since then. How key has that been for each of you guys since then? Yeah, it's called relationship building, you know? I mean, it's it's what, what I have to do. You know, I mean, why would I want to force something that they're not comfortable with? I talk to those guys a lot. And, and I think one of the things that I try to do is find what's good for everybody um, within the framework of what we're doing. And, and uh, um, you know, Matt and I have a lot of conversations. TJ and I have a lot of conversations. Coleman and I have a lot of conversations about uh, those guys. Those guys have earned that that right, and uh, uh, I I trust their judgment. And uh, you know, I'm sitting in timeout tonight, and I asked Matt, "You which play do you want to run?" Because I'm running them. I'm running to you. He said, "You tell me." And you know, he he, he told me I'm really good with that, and uh, I know where I want to go with it. And sure enough, we go to it, and he gets a bucket. All right. So, Coach, obviously Terrence in the first half, you know, scoring explosion for you guys. But could you talk to us about in the second half some of the other things he did to impact women tonight? Here's what he did that was key. He said, Coach, leave me out. Leave me out. Those guys are rolling. Matt's cooking right now. I said, okay. But I said, you know, I got to go back to you because defensively, you're gonna you're gonna have to guard harder. And and you know that's pretty brave for one of the best players in the country. Saying, coach, these guys are cooking. Now it's about us. It's not about individual stuff. It's about us. And I mean, I just got a smile on my face because I'm like, okay, you got it. But I said, you got to go quick. And that's when it's. That's that's when when it's when it's about us. It's it's not about all the individual stuff. And, and uh, he was phenomenal again tonight. That's why he's one of the best players in the country. Brad Matt was pretty effusive in his praise for how you guys have altered schematically offensive defense. Well, I know you said practice, but how, how do you guys as a coaching staff implement that so quickly to get this kind of quick turn like it's been? 
practice and and I, I don't know I I always say I don't I don't I don't want to ever know what it will outstubborn me but I also have to realize that okay this didn't work or that didn't work and and oh God, and how quick can I get it changed because I don't want to stay with it and um, I don't know. It might be one of my biggest flaws, and it might be one of my biggest strengths. I, I don't know, but um, I know I've got to get Matthew shots. I know I've got to get TJ shots, Dane shots, Coleman shots, and those guys are really good players. And, and um, five turnovers tonight makes me smile because it means we're moving the ball. And, and even though we didn't have a few isolations tonight, um, we're doing the right things. Back in the middle. Coach, five assists, zero turnovers for Jaden tonight. What do you see from him as he steps into a larger minute role? Yeah, what a great freshman. Um, you know, Jaden's a gifted scorer. He has a heck of a night if he makes a couple layups. Uh, but, um, yeah, his and I thought defensively, I thought he did a great job of fighting Walker. And, and you know, as he's learning to play ball screen defense for the first time in his life, um, He's a, he's a really good player. He's a really good player. And as a freshman, he's he, he's fearless and he takes on any challenge. Jeremy. Fred, uh, Tom was asked what's changed about you guys uh, the last couple of games. And he said, I'm not trying to take a shot at the player, but it felt like addition by subtraction and just the way they're playing. He said, something's changed. What what do you think has changed? No, it's... it's, it's um, this guy's a big part of our group, and and so he's he's not here for his personal well-being. Um, we were headed there. We were headed in the right direction, and and you know our thoughts are still with Sky and our concerns, and and we were headed there. Um, now it's just guys got to play a few more minutes. And, and maybe that's given guys a little bit of confidence. I, I don't know that, um, but it's it's not that. I you know my my heart is 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 with Sky and what his what he's got to deal with, and so I, I'm I'm um, you know that's an outsider's perspective of, of things, but and maybe it's the truth from the standpoint guys are playing a little more minutes and they're maybe a little more confident, but it's not it's not definitely addition by. Subtraction. Right. Coach, I remember I remember your, a couple of years ago you played Baylor and they kept attacking Adam Miller in ball screens. You're talking about foot position and then tonight Epps in early in the game they're attacking him and snake snaking those ball screens and then all of a sudden he starts making that adjustment. How is he in that development process when you talked about, you know, a couple of years Adam became a good defender by the end of the season. Where's Jaden at right now? Well Jaden didn't guard until he got here. I mean, Jaden scored 40 a night, and I mean, he was very similar to Trent. Was a just a walking bucket, so he could always score more than. But but he's he's he gets it. He's he's he wants to win those battles now. I think sincere and him both are, are are competitive. They love the challenge. Communication is so vital, and it's just it's a it's a process it's a processing deal. You make a call, you have to adjust to it. You have to do it right away. And so that, that process is happening pretty quick with him now. He's getting, he's getting better. And we talked about just one little thing at half, and um, hey man, he was able to go out and take care of it. Time for a couple more questions about Andy over here and Tyler. I know Sincere got tangled up and went out and then came back to the bench. Do you have an update on him? I know it looked like he was maybe about to Bruce. back in. Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. Is he okay going forward? Do you have an update I, going I, 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 It's a bruise. That's all, I, that's all he told me. Uh, Brad, you had um, 10 blocks, but also 16 second chance points, some of those off of those blocks. How do you kind of balance that between being aggressive on shot blocking, but also staying in position for Yeah, we got to get our guards to get their nose bloodied up. We gotta, our guards got to dig back in there. You know, if we're going to go do that, you know, short shots equal short rebounds. And, um, you know, our, we gotta get, we, we've got to continue to grind on that. Um, you know, you can't get, usually when you try to go block them, you're, you're at the basket, you're under the rim, and sometimes you get pushed under the rim. And uh, that's where those guards got to come in, and we got we to really continue to grow in terms of cracking down. Last question here. Just, just a quick one. I asked Dane the same thing, but um, they didn't let him get to the low post in the first half. Second second half, he's posting up, scoring in the post. What changed? Was that a, 
a change that you made at halftime? A couple things in that. One, I mean, we, we knew that that's what Tom's teams do. They're going to meet you and be physical, and, and he just gave in in the first half. And you got to run around those things. They used to do the same thing to Kofi. And you got to run around them. You can't run through them. You got to run around them. The second half, the other thing we did was a few more sets that got him that got him deeper. Not just starting, you know, at the nail, but got him deeper. So uh, he did a great job second half. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks coach. Thanks, coach.